Breaking news. This just in. Scientists have defined the pathway from light absorption by a leaf to photosynthetic carbon fixation. Amazing. Light energy from the sun is absorbed by pigments in the leaf such as chlorophyll that convert the energy in each packet or photon of light into energetic electrons. The energy is sufficient to allow a complex of proteins called the water splitting complex to break the chemical bonds in water, releasing an electron from the water molecule to be used in photosynthesis. This reaction produces oxygen as a side product. Really? This energy capture process occurs in structures that are located within the plant cell. These structures are called chloroplasts. A special chlorophyll molecule called a reaction center absorbs light energy to boost this electron to a high energy state. From here the electron is passed from protein to protein. These proteins are embedded in an internal membrane in the chloroplast called the thylakoid membrane. Damn. The positioning of these reactions in the thylakoid membrane allows for the high energy transitions involved to be safely and carefully controlled. These proteins are called the electron transport chain. You do know I'm just the weatherman. Don't you? As the electron moves between proteins, some of its energy is siphoned off. This energy is available to pump protons across the thylakoid membrane. The electron eventually lands in another reaction center, where a second photon of light energy excites it further. I mean I'm only really here to read the weather. The electron travels through more proteins in the thylakoid membrane, losing energy and pumping protons across the membrane. You know, things like 50% chance of rain. Eventually the electron is stored in a molecular battery called NADP to be used later. Sometimes I forecast snow. The protons that were pumped across the membrane now flow back through an enzyme called ATP synthase. The flow of protons is an energy source that is used by this enzyme to synthesize the molecule ATP. This ATP is the universal energy currency of the cell. 50% chance of snow. In one of the most fundamental biochemical reactions of life enzymes combine ATP, the stored electrons in NADP and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to produce sugars. These biochemical reactions are called the Calvin-Benson cycle. 50% chance of rain. Not really much of a forecast is it? It's like saying it might rain, but then again it might not. The sugars produced by the Calvin-Benson cycle drive life on the planet. Weather is hard. Plus, the oxygen evolved as a byproduct of the initial photosynthetic splitting of water to extract electrons to power this process provides the oxygen in the atmosphere that is essential for respiration. And that is how it works. It is simple. So you mean? Yes. Light energy from the sun must be converted to some kind of chemical energy to be biologically useful. And this involves converting light to a flow of electrons to make chemical energy that powers the synthesis of the sugars that feed biology. Not bad for a weatherman. We prefer to be called meteorologists. We are weather scientists. Fifty percent chance of rain, you say.